Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. Today I have a really fun, exciting project. We are going to be opening a lot of the milk jugs that we planted with summer seeds. We overwintered them using the winter sowing method and grew plenty of fun summer plants. So today we are going to be starting to plant some of those out in the garden. So I actually went through organized them all, opened them up, took a look already because I have like over a hundred of them. So if I opened every single one on camera, we'd be here for a while. Y'all don't need to see that. So I will let you see that I have them organized into two groups. The first group is the first batch of seeds that I did that are ready to be planted out. We're going to be tackling those today. We have some Cosmos, we have some Xenias, and we have some Foxglove some Alyssa, few fun things in that group. The rest of the seeds are things that either I don't have a spot ready for, I'm still filling the raised beds. So anything that's gonna go in the raised beds has to stay in the milk jugs till the raised beds are ready. Or things that are from the second wave of seeds I've planted that are just not big enough to plant out in the garden yet. So you can see it is spring. Ideally, I would have done this the very first week of spring when I could plant things out. But if you've been following along, you know, I was on a cruise that week. Not planned, just happened to be the first week of spring. Hopefully won't have to do that again because I wanted to get these planted as soon as possible. Life is what it is. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it. We're going to open these up today and plant them out in the garden, water them in really well. Um, I did already go ahead and when I organized these, we split them in half. So you are only seeing today my half. There is a second half that is my mom's half. We planted those last weekend and her garden. So far they are doing great. So I'm hoping mine will do great as well. Um, but of course this is a really easy cost effective way to start a lot of plants from seed without having to have a whole seed startup set up conglomeration. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got and start planting it because we've got a lot to do and not a lot of time to sit and chat. So let's go. All right, so when we organized everything, I put my seeds that are ready to go. You can see they are literally growing out of their spots right over here. So this is everything we are planting today. We have Cosmos, we have Alyssum. This is a white Alyssum and purple Alyssum. We have Foxgloves, we have Xenias, and we have milkweed so hopefully we'll get everything done but let me go ahead and try to move my shadow out of the way and show you what we're working with so we have a mixture of medium to larger plants these ones are pretty big that looks like a cosmo so we will plant these kind of all over same with the zinnias. You can see some are nice and big and some are much smaller and probably won't be put out just yet. We'll see. <clears throat> Milkweed are all pretty good size. Very excited. Got our alyssum. They're doing really well. This one even has a little spider friend. And oh, this cosmo has a bud. Some uh, some cosmos, which look really stringy down by the roots, really leggy. So we'll see. Uh, we're gonna plant all of this out and see how it looks in the garden. As you can see, we still have quite a few not quite ready to go. More foxglove, some comb flowers, more alyssum, all kinds of stuff. So another day, another dollar. Today, start with the foxgloves. All right, so you might remember I planted a couple of these Camelot Fox Gloves, which is the same variety 
that I have in my milk jugs. This is a milk jug Camelot Fox Glove right there. The rest of these I bought from a nursery. And I interplanted them with all of these tiger lily bulbs, which you can see some are starting to come up. Some are actually putting on quite a bit of growth. So I'm going to interplant these two milk jugs. I went ahead and separated my milk jugs by area in this area. So I've got two rather large sized foxgloves and two mediums. So let's go ahead and plant these here. Got the same setup right here. We've got a couple for that side. Got a couple really nice sized foxgloves. And then a few medium ones. So we're gonna go ahead, pitch on fast forward and get all of these foxgloves planted in this bed. These planted across the way with the other Camelot foxgloves we've got here. And then I've got two, this is for weeds, I've got two reserved for down the way. I'm going to interplant some in among all of the foxgloves I have coming up from last year. I have the most returning in this bed. So let's get started. Okay, so next up, we are going to plant our Cosmos. These are the dwarf cutesy variety. So they're supposed to get 36 inches tall. And as you can see, like this one's great, <laughs> but they're pretty spindly and uh, need some help. And I'm probably gonna have to pinch some of them back that are really twisting from being in the milk jugs. So I'm not 100% sure how these are gonna do. I have three milk jugs with three or four plants each, and I'm gonna plant them all right here. If I have to keep the roots together, if, because as you can see, they're like all in one spot. So if I just need to take this out as one clump to keep all the roots together and give the plants the best shot, then all three milk jugs will go right in here as a triangle. If I can separate the roots a little bit, then I might put one milk jug up on the other side of the bed. I also think I'm gonna direct seed a couple of these because Cosmos and Xenia um, both bloom in 45 days, which is pretty quick. So, you know, stack the odds. So we're gonna get started with this one since it is the biggest in the back. All right, so we ended up with six or eight, four here and four around the front. This one is broken, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it off right where it's broken. I hate to do this, but whenever you pinch them back, they usually, they like it. So, go ahead and sacrifice the first round of blooms to cut these babies back. 
That way the roots have less to support as they are trying to root in. Also gonna go ahead and put a couple of these around. Go ahead and do the ones at the top. All right, so we've got our first set right down here. And if we come up around the tree, we have planted our second set. These ones actually don't look bad. I did go ahead and top them and I planted seeds all the way out in an arc, all the way up almost to the Laura Pedlum here. And I have some peonies over here that are just starting to really leaf out, but there's not much for summer flowers in this portion. So we'll see. I've planted them closer together than they probably should be. The package says 18 inches and this is like four, but uh, not 100% sure how they're going to do. They don't look as good as I would like coming out of the milk jugs. So I just figure... They're annuals. We're going to put them closer together and they're cut and come again flowers. So if we need to cut on them, we'll cut on them. But I'm not sure that all four will make it. So this way we'll give them a chance. Hopefully a couple will. Let's move on to zinnias. All right. So we have almost the same situation for our zinnias. They are... You know, they're growing. You can see where I pinched them back a week or two ago. And so they're, they're doing. So we're going to go ahead. We've got four in that container, three in this container. We're going to go ahead and dig up this area. We're going to plant all seven right here. And then we will plant a few seeds as well. These get only 24 inches tall. They are the shortest zinnias that I have to grow, two feet and they're supposed to go about 12 inches apart. Zinnias do get pretty big once they fill in like Cosmos, so we'll see how they do. All right, we've got all the zinnias planted, including the seeds. We will water everything in at the end. For now, we're gonna switch to alyssum. So I have two kinds planted, a white alyssum that is doing really well. This one is literally already blooming and a purple alyssum that is struggling. I have another one of these as well that's across the way. So I'm gonna plant the purple right over here right next to the water so it gets a lot of water a lot of attention i'm going to plant the two white right here these are short front of the border plants and uh we're going to see how they do they do best with a little shade in the heat 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 of summer so i'm planting them under my big tree so that hopefully they will do well if they get enough shade in the heat of summer they will keep blooming through fall otherwise they're mainly spring plants so 
we'll see. If they don't super well love it here, we may replace them later in the season. This is kind of an experiment. Let's go ahead and get these planted and watered. All right, all of the alyssum is planted. And instead of the milkweed, which I'm gonna do in a separate video because it actually has a lot more that I need to do, I'm going to plant this raspberry gomfrina because it is starting to outgrow its milk jug and need a little help. So I've got six good ones and three or four little bitty baby ones. So I'm going to plant these. Right here in the front, they get 18 to 28 tall, and you can plant them six to eight apart. And these are seeds from Johnny's Seeds that I'm trying. So let's go ahead and plant them and see how they do. These have great roots. So let's get that planted and hope they do well. They're already starting to throw flowers. All right, we've got a whole little triangle here. I've got some salvia coming in back here. So we'll have short layer and a tall layer and then the iris and all in the back. The rest ended up over here. So let's head this way. Still gonna have to clean up because got milk gardens, milk gardens, milk jugs and trash bags everywhere. But we have our Fox glove. You can see one, two, three. So these were grown starting in October. These were started in January. So if you are in a climate where you can start yours in October, there's the size difference for planting them out. It's a big one. We then did our alyssum. 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 This is purple. These are white. I am going to plant some Proven Winners Snow Princess Alyssum around this swoop. I hear that it comes back in our climate and that it does not wilt in the heat of summer. So I wanted to kind of plant them right in the same area so I can do a true comparison and hopefully we will have a video on that. Then more fox gloves. They're all doing great. Cannot wait for these all to flower. I'm so excited. Our zinnias, they don't look too bad. They don't look like the prettiest zinnias ever, but again, we went on a cruise the week these should have been planted. This is user error. error. <laughs> Our first set of cosmos, which basically looks like nothing sticks but if they do well they will do well and last but not least up around the corner we have another set of purple alyssum and our other cosmos so even with the cruise week of neglect these are doing pretty well and we will see with a little rain and TLC how they bounce back but I am super excited with our milk jugs this year I've still got more this will be the first of two waves of growing things so uh, hopefully we will be able to fill most of the garden in especially where these pansies the spring flowers that are done blooming in with summer flowers that we've grown from seed that's the goal so as you can see, 
Alabama is already developing our humidity, even though it is pretty overcast, not hot day. So I'm gonna go in and get a uh, shower going after I pick up all my milk jugs. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.